newspapers because matriculants wanted to get their results. The Congress of South African Students, COSAS, has accused the media houses of simply trying to make a profit from printing the names of pupils who've passed matric in their papers. It's uh, launching a campaign to burn newspapers that carry matric results. Now, to talk to us about this campaign is the president of uh, COSAS, uh, Tolukhelo Colin Malachi. Thank you very much for joining us on the program and uh, welcome to you. Thank you, thank you. So, why do you think that uh, the papers shouldn't be publishing the names of uh, students uh, and their results? Look, uh, one is that uh, every citizen in South Africa has a right to privacy. And uh, metric results is, is uh, it's your private matter between you and the school. Uh, we've seen in, in many incidences where a lot of students have committed suicide uh, because of such things. You say, you say a lot. How many is there? Look, uh, just to give you a simple example, uh, as early as last year, January, we've been to some schools in KZN where we had more than two students in one school where they have committed suicide. And some of them, it's a matter of misprint, only to find out that later they've passed. Mm. Now, those are things that we think we can move away from. If you stop is it because it's published, or is it because even if it wasn't published and they think that they failed or they know they failed and they find out that they failed, aren't we still having the same pressures and the same uh, children, uh, as learners wanting to take drastic action? Look, uh, uh, society has been programmed that uh, if you don't have metric, uh, there is no future. Now, uh, everyone uh, thinks that if it does not pass metric, it's the end of the world. Now, that's why we've engaged the Department of Education that they must set up uh, methods. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, the issue of counselling in schools uh, as the first step because mm. uh, a lot of our learners are not educated mm. about other options that are offered. Now, uh, before you could even cancel that poor child, already you are, you are printing his results on newspapers uh, and you know how uh, teenagers are. Mm. Uh, that high level of excitement, uh, if you have not passed... Uh, you're not involved in certain groups that are celebrating such results. Now, that alone contributes to a crisis uh, in South Africa. So what are you suggesting then? What should happen? Look, there are, we, have, we have proposed that uh, the first step that is primary, uh, that is happening now, is that the results must continue to be from grade 1 up to grade 11. You've been receiving your, your results from the school. Now we think that that method must also be, uh, must come back again. Uh, secondly, uh, they must utilize. We, we are we are a very uh, we are a generation that is informed when it comes to technology. Mm -hmm. uh, they must reintroduce the issues of uh, uh, the the SMS system, mm -hmm. uh, emails as the way of communicating to learners about the uh, about the results. Apart from printing it. Uh, but now, who are you representing? Because I would say, I would put it to you that seventy eight point two percent of the students in South Africa disagree with what you're saying? That they no. want to see their names in the paper? No, it's, it's not true. Uh, look, uh, if that is the only area where you can receive your results before mm. you collect a statement, every, even everyone mm. will go there. Even yourself will go there with an excitement that you'll see your name there. Mm. But later when you don't see your, your name there, it becomes a disappointing uh, area. I think each and every one that wants to see... Look, if you've worked for the past 12 years mm. and you, are, you, are, you, are, you have written your final exams, uh, you'll, you'll okay, want to see your name. Let me put it to you another way. Mm. Are you sure that students don't want the names printed in the newspapers? Or you're just suggesting this as a safe, as a safe measure? Look, one is that uh, you need to understand that not everything that is in society, uh, 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 even if it's approved by everyone, is proper. Uh, look, uh, I can give you an example. Mm. Uh, public drinking was stopped. Uh, there was a lot of outcry that why do you stop public drinking uh, mm. because you're not drinking and driving, you're just drinking in parks and all of that. But uh, because you understood very well that when you are drunk from the chances of, of you uh, being uh, mm. knocked by a car or, or, or becoming violent are very high, mm. it's better in your, in your house. Now, what, what my point is, uh, students only realize that after they've failed. Okay. That, but this method is not a proper method. All right, so this campaign of burning uh, newspapers, is that something you're going to do every year and try to do every year? Look, uh, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have tried all attempts. One is that we, we in, as early as June, we had a march to the Department of Education, uh, marching about uh, the same issue. Uh, we met with the minister. Uh, we, the minister resolved that we'll organize a team yeah. that will investigate the matter 
uh, before we could hear the outcomes of that uh, commission that has been set up by the minister, already they've given a go ahead and they're putting these papers. And as the Congress of African students, we feel, we feel highly undermined because when you sit uh, in a meeting and resolve on a matter, yeah. uh, we need to get outcomes of that because for the fact that we've been All given right. an audience, it means we've been taking serious about the matter. All right. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there, but uh, thank you very much indeed for uh, sharing your thoughts with us and pointing out some of your concerns about uh, the publication of matric results. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Thank you.